Hi everyone, this is Phil from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the mech in Ark Extinction. The mech is one of the last engrams that you will unlock in Ark Extinction, and you'll find it all the way down at level 91. It takes a fair amount to manufacture a mech, but honestly, not as much as you would expect given what you get out of this thing. So go to a tech replicator and you'll see the mech engram right at the main page. It requires black pearls, crystal, element, metal ingots, and polymer to manufacture. So go ahead and manufacture one, and in no time at all, you will have yourself your very own giant mech. The mech, as well as being giant, does come with two weapons right out of the gate. It has a giant sword in its right hand and a blaster in its left. The left-click attack is the sword attack, which is fairly powerful, and it also uses stamina, which is a weird thing for a robot to have. The right-click attack is the blaster, which doesn't use stamina, but uses fuel instead. Fuel is also used in jumping, which is actually done by hovering by pressing spacebar. You hover a distance and you can see it uses a little bit of fuel, but it also generates quite a lot of heat. If you maximize your heat, then you can't hover anymore and you have to wait for it to cool down. Eventually, if you use all of your fuel, you will deplete it and you will have to refill it by putting in some element and it tops it right back up. It's important to note that it has to be element, element dust, and element shards won't work. If you have a damaged mech, you probably want it to heal. Well, it does so very slowly over time, but you can speed that process up by enabling auto repair. How auto repair works is as long as you haven't been in the mech for 10 seconds, it will initiate auto repair, and then it will start healing itself by very large ticks relatively quickly. So definitely enable that. There are also add-ons to the mech, such as the Mech Deployable Shield Module, which is unlocked at level 93. You craft it as well in the Tech Replicator, and you do so by finding it in the Saddles section of the Replicator. So you go ahead and you manufacture that, and when you place it into your inventory, do be mindful that the dang thing weighs 200 weight. So, you know, thin yourself out. But then you place it into your saddle slot of the mech, and what you have here is a deployable shield. By pressing C, by default on PC, you will activate a shield that will float into the air and protect an area surrounding the mech. Anything within the shield will be protected from projectiles that are shot from outside, but any creatures or players from outside can still just walk through the shield. If the mech leaves the perimeter of the shield, the shield module will return to its back. There are two other modules available for the mech. There is the mech rocket launching module and rocket pod, which is available at level 95, and the mech siege cannon module and cannon shell, which is available at level 97. Once you have all the ammunition and modules in your mech, you can swap in between them by just dragging the module you want into the module slot. First, we'll take a look at the rocket pods. How they work is by pressing C, you will shoot a swarm of missiles into the air in the general direction you're looking. And if you're looking in the general direction of, you know, creatures and such, it will do a fair amount of damage to them, but to a very wide area. I wasn't really that impressed. The cannon, on the other hand, the siege cannon is fantastic. If you press C, you will go into a turret mode, and then by left clicking, you will charge and then fire the siege cannon, and it will do a devastating amount of damage to a small area of effect. You should know that it is long range only, and it will give you a red reticle, and you will un be unable to fire if anything is close up to you. You should also note that usage of these modules does cause damage to them, which will need to be repaired. Finally, it's important to note that mechs are an important part of the end game of Arc Extinction, and I'm not going to spoil it, but suffice it to say that you need them to build something even bigger. Do you know anything else about the mech we should know about? Tell us what it is in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, or better yet, check out our new merchandise available from Teespring. You can find it now here at this link or in the description below. And as always, have fun out there.